On 22 April, Vanessa Guillen, PFC in the 3rd Cavalry Regiment, was at her place of duty, and around noon is the last time anyone has seen her. Somebody, some person out there has the piece of information we need to bring Vanessa home. Now, just to be clear, this video is from April 15th, a week before Guillen vanished from Fort Hood. Now you can see her getting out of her white Jeep and going to get food inside Taqueta, Mexico. The owner, Jaime Moreno, says Guillen will often come to his restaurant with other soldiers and friends. He knew her well. The last time he saw Guillen, she didn't seem like her normal cheerful self. In fact, he says she seemed like she was worried about something. <laughs> What is up, it's and Mel, and I want to talk about Vanessa Gillen, give a couple of updates. How are you guys doing? And I also want to talk about Gregory a little bit later. Uh, there's been a few updates with this story. And by the way, if you haven't seen the initial story, I'll put the link down in the comment section below. But a quick little synopsis is Vanessa went missing April 22nd, 2020. She still hasn't been found. This guy, Gregory, pops up now out of nowhere. Well, his body does right near the base, which is pretty crazy. And when Vanessa went missing, all of her stuff was left behind. I'm talking like keys. We don't know where her cell phone's at. Authorities say Vanessa's car keys, room key, ID, and wallet were found in the armory room where she works, but no sign of her. Obviously and clearly, that's not a good sign right? Somebody leaving all their stuff behind. Now, the family has uh, expressed uh, dissatisfaction with the investigation from the military. To not be transparent, to not share the information or facts as to what they did or where they searched or who they subpoenaed or what they subpoenaed is very troubling. There's too much, uh, quote unquote, missing facts here. So that video clip in the beginning where you saw Vanessa walking to this restaurant, I think it was called Taquito something. And I'm going to show you a clip from the manager. Uh, this was the last time that he saw her in that restaurant. It was like a week before her disappearance. And he claimed that she seemed a little down than usual, but that often um, she would come in there with soldiers, you know, from work, I guess, and they'd eat and they'd be happy. It's sad that a client, someone who would come here often, would go missing just like that. It makes it even more sad, though, that she went missing and no one knows where she is or where she ended up the best thing would be for her to show up but if that doesn't happen then the truth should come out and whoever is responsible should be held accountable for this so fast forward now to the current time where they've been searching this area called leon river texas every time i hear some story in texas i feel like i'm hearing of new places that i've never heard of before place is huge and, well, they've been searching this place multiple times due to a tip. They searched yesterday, today, and this is the fifth time that they come check this area. And I actually have this better clip that I found uh, from KHOU that shows a better look of the area. And you can also see EquiSearch, and you can see the guy, I forget his name, but I remember him more um, from the Malia Davis case. <laughs> On the ground and on the water, Texas EquiSearch volunteers searched for 20-year-old Vanessa Guillen, a soldier from Houston, stationed at Fort Hood. We know time's not on our side. I think we're 62, 63 days today. A tip led search teams today to the Leon River, but so far, no luck. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and when you do, check the bell for all notifications. By default, it's personalized. Consider joining channel membership, which helps me cover controversial topics and the demonetization revenue loss from that and lastly don't forget i have a facebook page go support there too i'd appreciate it you know my hope is just somebody will tell us where he's at whether dead or alive i just i need to know where my baby is um. authorities found skeletal remains in a field in colleen friday morning this morning the mother gregory weedle morales confirming the skeletal remains found in a Colleen field yesterday are those of her son. Gregory had been missing since August of last year. Gregory, another soldier that went missing from the base, he went missing in August. They're saying the cases are not linked, you know, but it does have the similarity of two soldiers from a base missing. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of hard to just like ignore. Now, he was found in an open field due to a tip. In the window up here, 
you can see the whole field. You can see what they were doing. You can see the yellow tape. And we saw that they had teams coming out, uh, searching the area. When I think about Vanessa and I think about Gregory's story, I almost wonder if he was found because of the attention that Vanessa got, you know, um, more attention on the story and missing soldiers from this base. They're going to be doing an autopsy on Gregory. Hopefully, maybe this could bring up something. Maybe they can find something's going on. And this is probably foul play. I mean, what's kind of interesting, too, is that the military, the base, right? They placed them on. I'm going to show you the clip. This uh, AWOL at first and then as desertion. Desertion. I'm saying all right. Desertion. So it's like I wonder if they were even really searching for him during that time he was missing. You know, I don't know if he, maybe they were, maybe they weren't. I don't know if you're put on as a wall if they're really searching for you as hard as they should be, or does it kind of make it more of a dismissive type of thing? Well, he just abandoned, and if we catch him, he'll be charged. So how did we get to today's tragic news? Gregory was last heard from on August 20th of last year. After his disappearance, he was immediately placed as a wall. Then he was listed as a deserter. And the Army classified him as missing, issuing a reward. That reward was increased just days ago to $25,000. Today, his mom confirming his remains were found. You guys, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Vanessa is still missing. Uh, thank you again for the support. Hit like, share, whatever you can do. Comment or uh, check out the channel membership, Patreon, or Facebook. Any, any way you can share the video. Like, I appreciate the support. Take care of yourselves and peace.